everybody, what's going on? I'm Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel. And with the NBA on the All-Star break, we turn to the National Hockey League to play a little DFS tonight. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, NBA All-Star break, as you said, we'll turn to hockey. We're going to look at things from a team level. Which teams you want to be stacking tonight? That's right. We're getting into the best DFS stacks on tonight's NHL slate. And we begin with the Colorado Avalanche. What makes the Avalanche such a tasty stack to kick off tonight's DFS slate? So the Avalanche have always had one of the best offensive lines and best stacks that we can look for because they have full ice time correlation. That means all of their players from the first forward line are all together on the first power play. That's Nathan McKinnon, Gabriel Langeskog. Nico Rantanen, and then throw in on defense Samuel Girard. They are at home. They are minus 295 home favorites, which is very large for the NHL. And they're going up against the Anaheim Ducks, who aren't good. They're allowing the 11th most goals against per 60 minutes at even strength. And they're also allowing the 11th most shot attempts at even strength. So we want to be looking at Colorado. They are very expensive, but we have some value on tonight's slate as well. Heavy, heavy favorites are the Colorado Avalanche this evening, as Tom mentions. And that first line should be productive, so let's get them all in there as many as we can here on tonight's DFS League, the Colorado Avalanche first team that we're stacking tonight. Continuing on, we go to the Vegas Golden Knights as the next team stack that you're interested in here, Tom. The Knights are facing off against the San Jose Sharks. Vegas is a favorite despite being on the road tonight. Why do you like the Knights here? They're on the road and they're minus 215 favorites. I think that should tell you enough about the quality of team the San Jose Sharks have this year. Sharks are allowing 3.15 goals against per 60 minutes at even strength this year. That is the second worst in the league. They are not a good defensive team by any standard. We just saw the Avalanche put up four goals against them. We want to be looking to the Vegas Knights tonight and either their first or second line because they have full ice time correlation onto the first or second power play for both of those units. So whether you decide to spend up for Max Pacioretty, Mark Stone, and Chandler Stevenson on the first line or go to Jonathan Carlson, Riley Smith, and William uh, Carlson on the second, they're all in a great spot tonight, and they should be very, very popular. Minus 210, minus 215. Depends when you look. That's how quickly it changed. But the Knights are favorite, are favorites here in San Jose. A lot of these players can be very popular in this matchup. So go with the Knights, uh, along with the Avalanche, as we look to stack our DFS teams. But if you're not into the Knights, you're not into the Avalanche, maybe you want to go to the Minnesota Wild. Minnesota tonight is in Arizona taking on the Coyotes. And Minnesota is minus 140. Again, another road favorite here and another team that Tom likes. Absolutely. And when it comes to Minnesota this year, you know, I wasn't expecting them to be super good. I was expecting them actually to be horrible. But surprisingly, this year, they are producing 2.98 goals per 60 minutes at even strength which is the second best in the league it's better than tampa bay it's better than boston it's better than colorado and vegas a team that was projected to be in the lottery is a team that's scoring a ton of goals but more importantly they offer a ton of value tonight so looking to their first power play with matt zuccarello with joel erickson with kevin fiala with capriel caprizov their rookie who's going to win rookie of the year all these skaters are under $6,000, so you're getting the necessary value when you're deciding to pay up for Colorado or Vegas. Most of those skaters were above $7,000, so look to the wild as a value stack tonight. Exactly what we need, right? To get those Avalanche and Golden Knights in there, you need to find value stacks, and that's what you're getting in Minnesota Wild. In the Minnesota Wild, with players like Matt Zuccarello, uh, who's had a really, really nice season for Minnesota and, and should be uh, very, very valuable tonight on this slate, we hope. That's going to do it for us here at the FanDuel. Hurry up, Tom. We appreciate the time. Good luck tonight. Same to you. Talk to you next week. Should be a fun one next week. The NBA is back. We'll have more NHL. Of course, check in on the PGA Tour. We'll take a look at some MLB features as well. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.